with at least 193 homicides as of Monday. The pressure is building on National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines to gain control of the crime situation. It's a situation he described in his own words today as mind-blowing and crazy. Although he calls the crime fight complex, he is confident that through partnership with the national security agencies, the spike can be reversed. I would like to take this opportunity to say to the business community who spoke out, admirably so, I would like to take this opportunity to say to all of Trinidad and Tobago, we share your pain, we share the trauma, and the men and women of law enforcement who are sworn and paid to protect you are on the job. When asked, Minister Hines says he has not considered stepping down from his post. He says he's been putting in the work and is determined to address issues as they arise. Have you considered resignation given the horrendous situation of crime? Well, the answer to your question is no. I know what my responsibilities are. My Prime Minister knows what my responsibility as one of his ministers are. He's the one to judge. I don't think so. Police Commissioner MacDonald Jacob says more officers will be on patrol in the coming days. However, he says that approach will not work in isolation. He says the service has been taking steps to improve detection to take criminals and guns off the streets. As an example, he says 14 automatic fingerprint detectors were purchased and local DNA testing has resumed. As we recognize that some of the criminals are intent on continuing their activities and we call it adaptation. So our ballistic center is one of the key that will help us propel our detection rate and, and take some of these offenders from off the street. Of the 193 murders, 32% were attributed to gang activity, 17% to drug-related matters, 13% to armed robberies, and 15% to domestic violence and altercations. Joshua Zimungal, CNC3 News.